Why Jackie Chan becoming special or different? Why my fighting seem better than some other action star or action movie? It's not because I'm the best. It's because I have a lot of time. I control by myself. I'm directing by myself. Some other people do two days fighting scene. I, I do four months or three months. So, so this fight, the, the different is not be, because I'm best. <laughs> Working with Jackie Chan for the first time was on the film City Hunter. Um, a phenomenal experience, no less confusing, I might add, because the same thing existed where, you know, they're pretty much winging it as they go. But, you know, you're working with a maestro of martial art action movies, there's no question. <laughs> He doesn't use any stunt double at all, you know, uh, during, during the, the project A, during the police story. And then that's what they, what, that's what they don't have in Hollywood, you know. Most of Hollywood actors, you know, of course, they wouldn't do that, you know, without stuntmen. Okay, you want me to do that? Okay. The, you know, you know the cost so high. Right, you know, or the insurance company, they wouldn't let him, let them, let those actors to do that. The audience relates to Jackie Chan because he makes himself vulnerable. Unlike Chuck Norris or Bruce Lee or Sylvester Stallone, Sylvester Stallone's most successful film was Rocky because he was most vulnerable. You knew he was going to get beat up or he could be beaten up. Jackie presents that to us. There's a, a childish vulnerability that you know in every situation. He could be hurt, beaten up, killed, something's going to happen. And he plays on that vulnerability, and audiences love that. <laughs> A lot of Jackie's stuff was taken from old Buster Keaton movies, uh, Laurel and Hardy, etc., etc. He wanted there to be a lot of humor, not, not overt violence and everything. And that also comes out in the acting. We're nothing, it's not about reality so much as people just having a lot of fun, where a family can go, realize they're watching something a little farcical, you know, but, but it's, it's all about entertainment. <laughs> Jackie told me that when he was f seven years old, he was a real pistol in a handful for his father to manage. And he was a very active kid, very rough, tumble, very physical. And his father was a cook at the Australian embassy. He decided that, uh, his father did, that Jackie needed to get some discipline. So he took Jackie to see a demonstration of the Chinese opera. And, you know, with all of the wonderful physical things that they do. 
And after it was over, the master, as Jackie would call him, uh, had a program where you could come and train for, I think, three years, five, seven, or ten. Ten was the max. And his father said, would you like to do this? And Jackie said, yes, 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 I would. And his, uh, his father said, how long would you want to do it? You can do it for this. Ten years. I want to do it for ten years. And so his father said, okay, sign him up for it. And Jackie told me about the very first day that he went before the master. He was a little seven-year-old kid, and he went and stood very proudly before the master, and the master said, jump. And the master was standing with his hands behind his back. He said, jump. So Jackie jumped. The guy produced a bamboo cane from behind his back and whacked Jackie higher. Jackie jumped higher. Whack! Higher! And he did this about six times. And Jackie was ready to leave at that point. That was it for him. But, of course, he stuck the, the full 10 years. Jackie with me all the time. We a lot of argue in the in the in the school, you know. And then in school later on, I'm in the school. I mean, the, I mean that looks like a in charge of everything, you know. I can beat everybody, you know. The minister, no, the minister, the, my 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 master, he trained me, and there I want to train them, you know. If there's something wrong, who is a no no good? Then my master to beat me. So I'm scared. The master, <laughs> yeah, so beat them, you know, and. Uh, and the relationship with Jackie Chan with Yun Biu, uh, out of the people, they, they really, uh, really understand what is a real relationship. You know, Jackie Chan with me and Yun Biu, with that kind, it looks like a, uh, not, not looks like a more real brother, you know, we more close to the real brother, you know, because why? Because we live it together, then we let my master beat together, you know, and then we argument, and then we looks like a, what is it? Survive. <laughs> <laughs> To work with Jackie and see really our panel, of course, you know, having worked on Twinkle Twinkle, I knew his level of excellence and the excellence he demanded of anyone around him. I mean, little fights I did, even that was an experience. But to work with him on City Hunter and do a fight that took six weeks to shoot, uh, I, I really appreciated why his fights look as phenomenal as they do, because he will not accept anything less than perfection as far as perfection can be achieved. With the choreography, with the amount of takes it'll take to get a shot. I mean, three or four moves, as I said, may take uh, two days, three days to shoot, if he feels that's how long it's gonna to take to make it right. And, and to see firsthand his athletic prowess, the creativity and the choreography, I mean, it's, it's, it's an eye-opener. It's something you'll never see in the States because as you know, even on big movies, to shoot a fight scene, admittedly it was a long fight, nearly six minutes long, but they'd still only shoot that in a matter of days. I mean, this was six weeks because he knows that's what his audience wanna see. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh,
when you have this good stunt coordinator, maybe you cannot find a good stunt guy. When you find a good stunt guy, maybe the director, he don't know how to fight. When you find a director how to fight, the cameraman, they don't know working. And mine is different. My, I have my own team. I have my jacking team, stunt team. I have my own camera crew. I'm direct myself. I'm the action star. I'm the stunt coordinator. You know, so this is why, and also the company support me no matter how long I'm continuing to shooting. Yes, they just keep, keep on pay all of the money, pay, 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 pay all the people every day. The big brawl itself, um, Jackie was extremely charming, um, very cooperative with the entire cast and crew. The only thing he sort of got into a head-knocking thing with Bob Klaus because, again, he would like to do 30 takes of something that really only required five. And Bob would sometimes stretch it to 10, knowing that he had it on the fifth take but to make Jackie happy, and Jackie would want to go on and on and on. And so um, Jackie did not really like l working with American directors in the films that I worked with him on, um, and I'm sure if he had had his own way, uh, it would have been a much longer production, which would have made me happy. I would have made more money. <laughs> I find out in America, as there is a few directors, they editing by themselves. They have, most of the directors, they don't know how to editing. And even the stunt coordinator, they don't know how to editing. They just do it, what I want, what I want. Then after that, they go home. All the film they get, give to the uh, editing director. They can cut whatever they want. And I'm different. When they're fighting, I already know which punch is a second kick? Which kick is a to the table? What's table? Then a lot of people, even the editing is a trick. When they do the punch things, boom, cut. Then second shot, second shot from here, boom, again. It's wrong. Because the film by film, the inch by inch, the audience, the eyes contract cannot that fast to change. When you suddenly, boom, boom, you change the second film, the audience just, they're so quick. They, they know there's a fighting going on, but they cannot really see very clear what's going on. Like an American movie, you can see a, there's a lot of movement. When the, the camera angle movement, that means the actor, they don't know how to fight. The director used the angle. Then the, 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 the audience just very dizzy. <laughs> He was a perfectionist. He would rehearse, 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 and sometimes 
David Chan told me that they actually did 348 takes of one scene. Took an entire week. But that's the power that Jackie had because even if they took that long, it still made a fortune. Uh, a show that had a one month shooting schedule sometimes took eight months. Jackie was in charge and you took as many takes as he wanted to. Well, in Cannonball Run, it was a whole lot different. Jackie would do the scene and he was not satisfied with it. And the uh, director would say, okay, cut, let's move on. Jackie said, no, 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 no. Uh, I want to try it again. I want to do Now we got that one. Let's go on to the next one. And Jackie really hated that. He never felt like in that film it was done the way that he wanted it done. And he actually told me at, at the end of that picture, he said, I will never do another American film. That's it. You know, I, unless I'm directing it, I'm never going to do another American film. And though he did Cannonball Run number two, briefly, it was a very long time before he ever came back. In case you know you got you get an injury, you know, how can you finish this movie? You know what I'm saying, right? Yeah, so uh, but if you use um, stand double for this actor, you must change your shooting style. You must uh, avoid to see the stuntman, the stunt double's face. So you have the so you cannot really have to. So you couldn't film it uh, with one take. Okay, but uh, okay, uh, Jackie Chan, like Jackie Chan and Stan Hong, you can put your camera wherever you want because you no, know, they're not. He's not going gonna use any stunt double. For, uh, for 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 this couple of things. <laughs> One thing very strange, Jackie is scared injection. Jackie said, I can do anything, I can jump from very high, I can fight, but please don't make <laughs> any injection. Also, uh, afraid to do the, the operation, the saw, saw, saw him, he said, uh, and he, he very scared. I hold his uh, hand, his hand is uh, very cold and shaking, shaking. You know, you cannot imagine, you know, as, as a good fighter, uh, he scares see the blood. Then the doctor said, okay, okay, I just use some some of the tape. It's a new tape. Can make the wolf close there. He said, okay, okay. Just uh, take one day rest. The second day, he he go to the the studio shit again. <laughs> The thing that sets people like Jackie and again Sam Hong and people like that aside is that they're versed in just about every form of martial art. I, I can't think of a fight that they're not able to put together. And so with Jackie, you know, and his speed, his agility, the fact that he is such an incredible acrobat, along with the training he's had in different, you know, Chinese martial arts, makes him a phenomenal practitioner. And I think that's obvious with his film, you know. You, you know, the one thing that Jackie demands is timing, which is something that, that he has, you know, second to none. So to be able to do fights with Jack, it's all about timing. You know, it's not about being a good kicker, good puncher. He won't use you unless you have the timing that will work for him and with him and with his type of choreography. 
And so you put all those things together, you put his incredible physical condition, his acrobatics, you know, the, the way he moves, you know, with his martial arts and the traditional martial arts all mixed in, it just makes up one explosive package. <laughs> His style is my style, it's a little bit different. I love to look a little bit real content, you know. He loved to jump, you know, <laughs> a little bit different. Maybe because I cannot jump, so I'm standing there. <laughs> <laughs> When I'm fighting, it's more like uh, steady. It's not moving. Let the camera, let the audience see what I'm fighting. And it doesn't make, it doesn't make sense, the double cut. What's mean the double cut, the, 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 the punch? When I first shot, punch somebody from here, boom. But I'm cut from here. Then second shot. I'm from here again. Shum. That's a touch point. But for the, for the reasonable, it's not reasonable because the first punch for the editing, boom, should be here. But no, I'm start from here, here. But two shot combined, this is zoom. That's the power. <laughs> I never move my camera, always steady, wide angle. Let him see I jumping down, I do the flat, I do the fall, I do the running. And mostly people after fighting, bah, 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 because bah, 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 run. Why? Because double. They, the double, they want to cover the face. But when I do it, boom, 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 I always turn around. That's Jackie Chan. <laughs> The Jackie Chan stunt team is very important, the Jackie Chan style of, of fight. Um, he is still a leader though, I mean they will still all wait for Jackie to come up with the ideas and of course they will be there to add input and to tweak it a little bit and more importantly they're the ones that will rehearse it with the actors, they're the ones that will kind of refine it a lot, you know, rehearse for camera and let's say for someone like me, you know, he will work out what he wants, they're the ones that will teach it to me, I'll work with them to get it down pat. And every time you see background to the major fight, it's going to be his stunt people. And the reason for that is that he knows them back the front, they know him back the front, they know his timing, he trusts them, which is very important. Because the problem with getting some, say, kickboxer out of America is he doesn't want to be smacked in the nose and have his nose broken because somebody's there trying to show how tough they are, you know? Which is again why they're very selective about who they will use, you know? And uh, you know, he knew I had very good control and everything else and would look after him in fight scenes and obviously I was expecting the same back. <laughs> Uh, 
uh, you can see his uh, his nose is bigger. Now everybody says uh, big nose, big nose. Actually, he's uh, get get hurt many times. Uh, make the nose is uh, not in the position. So, so now you still can tell. Also, not only the nose, as a whole body, he got got hurt. I never think 10 years later things. I think what I'm doing today, what I'm doing tomorrow, and what I'm doing this year. That's all. I never think 10 years later what I'm doing, 20 years, when I get old what I'm doing. No. I find out that people die just boom, like this, so fast. And I remember a long time ago, I wanted to start Jackie Chan Foundation. I wanted to do this, I wanted to do that, I wanted to buy this, I wanted to buy that. And after I get hurt, when I, as soon as I go back to Hong Kong, after injury, then I start Jackie Chan Foundation right away. And I try to make as much movie as I can. So I find a lot of different directors to prepare all my dreams. Because at that time, I have many dreams. I have a police door, uh, a lot of projects. But I know if every year just direct one movie, I'm going to be 50. I think that what motivated him is like when one sets a goal for himself and attains the goal, where do I go from here? He set the goal that in Hong Kong, and he told me he was going to be bigger than Bruce Lee. And in his mind, he attained that. Where, where do I go from here? What is next? Well, there is the big world out there. If I'm going to make it in that world, I tried it my way. It didn't work. I didn't become an international star. So what is it going to take for me to become an international star? So he then uh, began to think differently. He began to think more international. Today, when I open my eyes, ah, another good day for me. And I earned it. Then, okay, tomorrow, if I can get up, what I'm doing. Okay, this year I have to make two movies. That's all. So, after I injured, I I living very happy. I always ha ha ha. Nothing to. Even uh, even some people they don't like me. They they just uh, they yelling at me or something like that. They say, okay, sorry, bye bye. Huh? That's nothing to wow. You know, for small things, I just don't understand. Now the people for small things of five fifty cents, one dollar to kill another person. And when I was young, I remember when I drive a car, somebody behind me. Uh -uh, then I may I might put my fingers. Do something bad, but now oh, oh, I said, sorry, you go ahead. You know, always happy. Then it makes me, uh, it makes me more younger, and makes me uh, always happy, go lucky, and makes my movie more healthy. <laughs>